Hi everyone, John Marquis here, your Builder CPA, and I wanna talk about one of the most underutilized features in QuickBooks Online, and that is the ability to add attachments to transactions. So in most transactions, you have an attachment field down at the very bottom, and I highly recommend adding files here. It can accept any kind of a PDF or Microsoft Office file. I think it can even accept some images and you can just drag and drop to this attachment section here. I would recommend saving whatever you're working on because if you don't get it quite into the box, sometimes it will replace whatever you have on the screen and it's really frustrating to lose all of that work. And if you're a Google Drive user like me, you can also copy and paste Google Drive links into the memo. And then if you wanna get back to that document, you can just copy and paste it into a new tab and it will open it right back up. Um, there are a couple transactions, mostly only payroll. Those types like pay stubs, they usually don't accept attachments, but there are there is another way that you can save files in your QuickBooks fold file. So if I go to the big gear icon in the upper right and under lists, there is a field for attachments. You can actually just drag and drop files into this section and it will store them but I don't think it will share them with your accountant. But you can see a list of all of the attachments that you have here, and you can see the transactions that they're linked to, and you can also download them right from here. You can even create an invoice and an expense based on the files that you've added, and we can even export all of the attachments, which could get really helpful. I'll show you in a second. So um, I also mentioned the My Accountant section. I don't think it will work in this sample file. No, it won't. But in the My Accountant section, there are two tabs, one for requests and one for shared files. And if you're trying to share something with your bookkeeper or your accountant who has access as your accountant in QuickBooks, you can simply drag and drop files into the shared section over here. And I mentioned another area that might save you by attaching these documents, and that would be in the event of an IRS audit. So usually the IRS is a couple years behind on auditing, and they'll send you a letter two or three years after you've forgotten about everything that you bought in that year. And if you are like me and you get transactions on heat sensitive paper, after that time, those little pieces of paper just fade to blank. But the nice thing is if you have them attached to the documents in here, you can just go back and run your reports from whatever year the IRS is looking at. This report has no data, so I guess I'll just go back to this month. But you should be able to click on whatever number they're questioning and see a listing and then when you need to export those attachments, you can just click in here and it will be down here where you can click and download. It could be a little bit tedious if you have to click through a lot of different transactions, but it's still better than not having the documents at all. So as always, I hope this was helpful. Drop a comment with any questions and have a great day.